Connie Wong is bringing a new trend of accommodation to Hong Kong, the capsule. It will be shared by single sex with the capsule stacked on top of each other, and six people will share a bathroom. Our target customers are individual travelers and university students. With the rise of the property values and an increasing number of visitors, the capsule would be another option for them. Max Lee is a second-year student at the University of Hong Kong and is a potential capsule customer. He lives at off-campus housing subsidized by the university. The flat is located 15 minutes away from the campus. It is about 360 square feet shared by three other students. The flat is about 1,080 Hong Kong dollars per month, including two baths with bunk beds, a kitchen, free Wi-Fi, and electricity. Uh, I live in Kowloon, uh, Lamton precisely, and it takes one hour for me to get to HKU, so um, I prefer to, you know, not travel uh, for one hour every day just to get to school, you know. We have brought Max to the capsule and Connie has explained the facilities. To use the capsule on the top, the customer has to step onto the stair by holding the handle. A key will be given to each customer. Inside this capsule, there is a television, air conditioners, a small table, Wi-Fi, and a bed, of course. Each customer can protect his privacy by rolling down the banner. The main light at the capsule will be turned off at 11 p.m. There will be three minutes of laser show and light music for people to go to bed. For travelers, we're planning to charge 240 Hong Kong dollars from Monday to Thursday and 280 from Friday to Sunday. For students, we'll have some discounts. It'll be 3,500 Hong Kong dollars per month, including all the services like Wi-Fi, but just 1,000 Hong Kong dollars per month for a bed. Right now, the capsule is exhibited in showroom in Queen's Road West. It will be open to the public once they have received license from the government. But due to the high cost of living in Hong Kong Island, it will be open in Yao Chin Mong districts, like in Yao Ma Tei, Chim Sa Chui, and Mong Kok. Will Max consider living in a capsule? Uh, I'm, I'm a bit iffy. It's just right in the middle of the city, so yeah, I recommend it for tourists. Cedars. The accommodation team at the University of Hong Kong said the capsule has not yet approached them for business. But Cedars has expressed a strong concern in terms of building structure, security and safety. They have decided not to promote capsule for university accommodation. But what would university students think about the capsule? Would they recommend it to their friends visiting Hong Kong? It's like a dog living in a dog house. It's just very uncomfortable and you can hear like everything. The capsule hotel only works in terms of when you're tra traveling for a really short period of time. The ideal of capsule seems appealing to many students, but due to its privacy and small space, it seems not able to attract many long-term customers. Hyunju Lee, JMSC News.